you'll never believe the secrets that were hiding underneath this Vienna ice cream shop one of the best places to go after a stressful day at work or school has got to be the friendly neighborhood ice cream shop old style creameries are becoming harder and harder to find these days but once you're back inside of one your inner child can't help but remember all the good times you've had over the years while eating ice cream that being said just because you feel like a kid again while you're visiting the local ice cream parlor doesn't necessarily mean that the facility is as innocent as your childhood was sometimes beyond all the freezers and the smiling employees there might just be something darker hidden beneath the surface never has that been more true than in the case of one particular ice cream shop located in the city of Vienna Austria one day when the old and crumbling building needed some repairs a chilling secret was discovered within the depths of the basement what the workers found left them feeling colder than a freezer full of ice cream ever could what are your best childhood memories that involve ice cream let us know in the comments below and then don't forget to take a quick moment to like this story and to subscribe for more the shop was called Schleckeria and it had opened its doors in downtown Vienna some 50 years prior when a husband and wife duo decided to make their living selling sweets now the shop was owned and operated by a young woman named Estebeliz Carranza and it was also in serious need of some new repairs when the repairmen arrived they headed to the basement and quickly began their work however it wasn't long before they noticed something pretty odd there were patches of concrete that were uneven along the basement floor at first they didn't think too much of it as they began digging into the floor in order to level it out but after working for only a short amount of time they immediately began to suspect that something wasn't right after a bit more digging their shovels suddenly hit something that was made out of metal underneath the floor when they uncovered the metallic object and investigated further the men were horrified to discover that it was actually a freezer full of disembodied human remains as soon as the police were called Estebeliz Carranza immediately fled the country for Italy all but confirming that she was the number one suspect in the chilling case without hesitation authorities quickly had her extradited back to Austria to be arrested and questioned about the shocking discovery after she was apprehended police then made some shocking discoveries of their own Carranza was actually three months pregnant and incredibly she had also had no intentions of hiding any of the details of her crimes now that she was in police custody Estebeliz quickly admitted to the killings and then identified the corpses as those of her ex-husband and an ex-boyfriend she even told police that she expected the repairman to find her hidden secret and yet she did nothing to stop them the police asked her to explain her motivation behind killing the men and she continued to answer their questions readily she explained that she killed her ex-husband Holger Holtz because he was a lazy slob who flat out refused to move out of the apartment that they both shared above the ice cream shop in her mind this staunch refusal left her with no choice but to murder Holger so one day around 3 p.m. while she was busy typing on the computer Carranza approached him quietly from behind and shot him in the back of the head execution style she wanted to dispose of the body right away but then an employee from the ice cream shop below suddenly called her about a problem with a customer so instead she waited until later that night to methodically dismember Holger's body using a chainsaw the loud noise made by the running ice cream machines was able to drown out the suspicious activity I cleaned and cleaned in the days afterwards she then told police however she eventually gave up her own efforts and decided to hire professional cleaners to take care of the shop Carranza's second murder was also planned out in a similar fashion and she revealed that she had murdered her then boyfriend Manfred Hintenberger after the pair had a drunken argument about his alleged infidelity she even told police that she had been taking both shooting and concrete mixing courses in the weeks leading up to the crime according to her Manfred got into bed that night after the argument and turned to face away from her then he immediately began to snore loudly and this was apparently the final straw for Carranza she got up quietly shot Manfred in the head and then left him to die while she spent the night sleeping on the sofa the next morning she woke up had some coffee and then disposed of Manfred's body in the exact same fashion that she did Holger's with her confession already given next came her official murder trial Petra Frey the prosecuting attorney described Estebeliz as a highly dangerous woman ready to do anything she also claimed that Carranza often hid her true nature behind a mask of innocence shockingly Carranza's attorney then actually allowed her to take the stand during her own trial I can't say anything other than that I am sorry that I took Holger and Manfred's lives she said Estebeliz was ultimately sentenced to life spent in a mental hospital the doctors there described her mental state remarking that she thought of herself as a princess who wants to be rescued by a prince she even went on to write a book about her crimes where she attempted to explain that the murders weren't as cold-blooded as they seemed 
In fact, she claimed that killing Holger and Manfred was her one and only way out of two very abusive relationships. She also claimed that years of abuse at the hands of other manipulative men had driven her to kill out of fear for her own life. Incredibly, not long after the release of her tell-all book, she was then moved to an all-male psychotic prison in Austria. Now 38 years old, Estebelise Carranza probably has to spend most of her nights surrounded by a building full of snoring men. Luckily for everyone, though, there are no guns or chainsaws lying around inside the prison. Do you think that Estebelise had no choice but to kill? Or is she just a cold-blooded murderer? Let us know in the comments section below. And then don't forget to like this story and to subscribe for more just like it.